Okay, I thought I would, boys and girls, I thought I'd make a very quick video on how to do uh, morphs uh, using the DAS characters in, in uh, Character Creator 3. So, uh, what I have is I have DAS, of course, open in another screen. I always have it in a different screen here. Let's switch these things around. Okay, so here's DAS, and I have my base character. You always want to start off with any morph on your base character. So, this is the Gen 8 male base. And I've already gone ahead, if we go back to here, I've already gone ahead and um, I have in the, um, in my, uh, what am I trying to say? What I'm trying to say, in my base, I already have all my bases exported out. So I have like a Gen 8 female, a Gen 2 female, I have a Gen 8 avatar. You have to have the base character exported out. So if you were in, uh, if I hadn't done that already, I would export this just as it is with it, using that T-pose without any morphs or anything on it, the default base character. Bring it in to Character Creator 3 and save it back out as an avatar because you're going to have to have that for use when you're creating the morph sliders. Okay, we already have that. I'm already going to put that in as my source morph. So I'm going to start off with, the, uh, with that source morph there. But first I'm going to have to create that. The other morph so hopefully that makes sense so you have, you have your base morph so now i have a base morph here i have this guy here and uh i'll do something i haven't really <laughs> I, I this is all just i'm just winging this i haven't even figured out what kind of uh i've already done my tunes uh let's see maybe gaities maybe i don't know it's, i'm trying to figure out a morph i'd actually want here uh yeah maybe maybe gaities oh yeah oh, that's disgusting uh okay so, <laughs> I'm not sure why I would want this morph, but but there you go. There I'm gonna I'm gonna do that one. That just looks really awful. So we we'll go ahead and we'll export that out. Uh, we'll call it Gaines, of course. And the here's the export options. This you just use your standard export options. The only thing you you might need to uh, think about is on your on your morph export rules. You're gonna bake. Uh, all the all the avatar morphs. The avatar morphs can't export, so they don't do any good. So, for example, uh, I, I could get rid of all of these rules. It, it doesn't matter whether you export them or not, because actually they're not going to. No matter what you do, they're not. They're going to get baked. So, uh, so it doesn't find anything that's going to bake itself. So, it doesn't really matter. But uh, whatever. So. So anyway, so, so and this is your you don't want to embed textures because that's not the way it works. For a morph, you really don't need anything else. This is really all you need. Uh, so it's it's exporting it out. So it's very odd that it always changes the pose as it does that. Okay, so now in here we go to transformer, go to uh, where to uh, Gates, and we're gonna bring that in. And uh, when we bring it in, we don't really care about any of the textures. Or anything we just really want the morph part of that stuff so I'm not going to even try to worry about baking body textures or anything i just want to just want to get that morph in here and uh, so it'll it'll apply the basically the base oh jesus the base thing for this okay so and again we really don't want this except we're going to save it as an avatar because that's what we need to uh to create the morph so we'll call it gaties and that's it so now we can create our morph so now we can go to file New project, we don't really care about that anymore. We don't really have to go to a new project to create the morph, but I like to start off with a nice, a nice clean project. So now we go to create, morph slider, very simple. Uh, call it anything you want, Gaties. It's going to be a body slider. I can show you how to create a head slider too. That's separate, you have to use iClone for that. But this, I'm just going to do this real quick thing for the morph here. Uh, Gaties is not the, the base one. The base one is always the default, um, you know, the plain, the plain one. So I go back, I Gen 8 male. There we go. And then target morph is that Gaties. Okay. You can put zero one. You can change whatever you want here, but I'm just going to leave it alone. I would suggest the bones to fit the morph on a on a size that changes the body dramatically for sure. You don't have to do that on a head morph, but uh, and then that's it. So that's that's all there is to it. There really isn't. It's pretty simple. It's straightforward. Now. Some of the morphs were, are going to distort the head and the face so much that you can't really use them, uh, or you can't use them much. So on this particular morph, if I, if, I, if I expand it outward, you can see the head changing on there. Uh, you, it, if I expand it all the way, the head's going to get to where, well, I could probably still use it there. That's, that's one ugly mama. <laughs> so, 
So that's basically it. That's how you create your uh, your more sliders from DAZ. The the key to all of this is you need to in DAZ you always you always export it from a base that's that's plain. So you're going to use your morph only. I mean, you can use a combination of morphs if you want, but you have to start off with your plain base as your avatar in uh, in here as your source morph, and then you're applying it to uh, whatever you want to apply it to. So you know, if you want to go to uh, some of your other characters, like here, let's go to, uh, where would I be a good one here? Uh, oh, how about, oh, no, that's going to be really disgusting. Uh, <laughs> I'm trying to figure out what, what would look good here. <laughs> what, would, what would look good with games applied to it? I have no idea, truthfully. it's uh, This is a very bizarre cardinal morph. I brought in a lot of weird, weird morphing characters from Daz. Most of, just about everyone works. You have to sometimes hide the hidden parts, but it's about everyone works. So, oh yeah, see that? See those eyes going off? That's because the eyes. I'm glad I found this one. The eyes don't morph separately here. So this particular creation, when it brought in the eyes from Daz, it won't respond to the morph. You notice how the other one did respond? Some of the morphs, some of the characters that you bring in, because the eyes are arranged oddly, they won't respect those morphs. Uh, the only thing you can do about that is make it a separate head morph and a body morph if that's what you want to do, and I can show you that in another tutorial. But I'm glad I showed where this came out this way because it's good that uh, that you see you see it happening too. Most of this won't happen. This only happens with uh, characters that are that have the eyes, uh, you know, really really changed from where they. Oh no, this is all right. That's something you can't unsee. All right, talk to you later.